Hey, what's up? This is Valar. Hope everybody's doing well. I uh, just wanted to do another follow-up video with Miscreated Monster. This time paired together with Tormund. So this I'm actually calling Ride the Frosty Lightning. Uh, or Ride the Frozen Lightning. Uh, for the freeze and the lightning abilities. But really where I wanted to showcase these two guys today is I was just completely ignoring Nightmare Campaign for the longest time because I really could only get past like Stage 8 here. Um, and then stage nine was like die on the first level. So I said, all right, what the hell? I'll put Torment in there and Miscreated Monster. I know Miscreated Monster can do all this stuff on his own if you have him geared up with crit damage, crit rate, I think too. But that's not how I have him geared right now. I may switch things around with that. And I'll show you guys the gear at the end of the video here. I uh, also want to say a bug, which I'm not going to sit you guys through. Uh, but... I've been able to three-star most of the campaign. I'm just still working on getting the Sacred Shard. Um, the odd thing is there's a huge glitch in these two stages. Now, granted, I'm taking ridiculous amounts of time to farm some of this. Uh, not farm it. I'm just trying to three-star it. I took 16 minutes and 45 seconds, and both of them were still alive at the end. Um, and it only gave me credit for two stars. So I have no idea why that happened. And the other thing is I've had this happen twice, and I spent 20 minutes on one of these runs. Uh, and this stage, it takes me 13, almost 14 minutes. Uh, both Tormin and Miscreated Monster were both alive at the end again, and I only got credit for two stars, not three stars. So I have no idea. There's obviously some bug or some glitch. I sent a support ticket in. Hopefully they fix that, but I'm not going to have you guys sit through any of that stuff because it's just mind-numbingly horrible. <laughs> We'll try to go through stage one here and see if we can get him three star. Take out all this, all my brutal stuff that I'm normally using. Uh, there we go. There's the guys right there. And then I'll just show you how I have both of them built. Miscreated Monster is freaking awesome. I mean, I think his utility is amazing, and I kind of want to use him pretty much everywhere, which is really cool. So I'm pumped about him. Um, Torment is cool for Nightmare Campaign, but he's slow. But he does provide you like the awesome freeze abilities and everything too. So Nightmare Campaign just... All the defensive abilities seem really good in Nightmare Campaign to get through it. The only thing I really care about is actually getting three stars on this. So I figured, okay, I'll show this duo. Uh, if people were able to fuse Tormin and use Miscreated Monster. Now, like I said, Miscreated Monster should be able to farm a lot of this stuff himself. But mine can't really do all of it himself. So that's why I've used Tormin together with him. Um, but they do take a little bit of time. So, I mean, I, I could theoretically see this taking like five or six minutes, which I know is a very long time. So, <laughs> uh, I don't want to necessarily have you guys sit through the entire run of just watching a campaign battle while I BS with you. I'm pretty good at BS, so I could do it, but I'll pause the video and come back <laughs> to it. And then after that, uh, we'll go through and we'll look at their gear and everything too. And also, thank you very much for the, for the support. This channel keeps growing. I really am excited about that. Please like the video and please subscribe to the channel. It's completely free. If you watch the content but you haven't subscribed yet, which I know there's a lot of people that do. You know, you're looking at the analytics. There's like 88% of people don't subscribe but watch content. So do me a favor. Just click the subscribe button. Completely free. Uh, doesn't cost you anything. And I'll be pumping out some more content because I'm having so much fun doing it. Anyway. Uh, I'll be right back after we get through this, hopefully within a couple minutes. Alright, so here we are back, and you can see this is not exactly speed farming by any means. I mean, I farmed like 6 to 8 seconds uh, with Queen Avon Brutal. So this is 5.5 minutes here it took to farm this stage. Well, I'm not farming it, but it to complete this stage. Uh, anyway, so at least it gets done. That's the whole point, right? The whole point is... So far in every stage I've been able to three star except for the bug on those two stages. But everything they've been able to three star, which is awesome. So I'm going to go through and just kind of complete the campaign. Hopefully get my sacred shard with it. That's it. Um, and I'll show you how they're geared and everything too. Just for the heck of it here. Um, so let's see. Let's go back over to the champion vault. Or not the vault. The champion listing here. And look at miscreated monster and Tormund. So my Tormund's got Accuracy and Frost on him um, in the arena. I, I didn't use any books on him yet. I, I will, but I actually wanted to wait until after the fusion was complete and they said they're going to give everybody two books that fused him. I, I could 
just go in and dump all the books on them and max them out right now in the books. And I probably do that, but I want to sort of wait because I feel like the nerfs are coming like, you know, this week. Uh, and by the time I post this video, the nerf actually may already be here. Uh, anyway, so I don't have any books on them or anything, but the gear I have on them is really solid. Um, I'll show you his stats here. I just stacked him with a crap load of defense. Uh, so 5,200 defense he's got. Now, he doesn't hit very hard, but that's not his main utility. He's got okay speed, 191. Uh, I don't really have him built for crit or crit damage at all. So that may also be why he doesn't hit that hard. But his debuff accuracy is 337. So the freezes, all that stuff's landing pretty well. So my totem's pretty nice. I like the way I built him, actually, too. I got uh, defense percent gloves. I had a lot of really good frost stuff, so I kind of figured, why the hell not? I mean, I had a nice HP roll here. A nice accuracy roll. I would like speed on this, but this is pretty good. I mean, I only had some six-star stuff, so, so I figured, what the hell. I'll play around with some frost, see how he does. Uh, and then this is really cool piece. 18 speed with the glyph on there. Uh, I got a little bit of crit rate there, and it's, again, six-star defense. And then some defense in the boots with a little bit of accuracy as well, so 40 speed on those. Uh, pretty good speed on the uh, weapon. I put accuracy, two-piece accuracy on there to just bump up the accuracy even more. And I am working on void accuracy in my great hall. I should be, I think I'm on stage nine or I only have either one or two more left uh, to just max the void accuracy out in the great hall. Um, and then this has some nice defense on it as well. So I figured I'd throw that on him. Um, and then put, you know, just a defense ring on him that also rolled a little bit of defense, a little bit of HP. Uh, a defense banner, no, yeah, defense banner, not banner, excuse me, defense amulet. <laughs> that rolled some accuracy. The other stats are pretty mad on that, but okay, it was six stars, so I figured I'd go with it. And then a six star accuracy banner, which I wish also had speed, but it has a lot of nice defense and, de you know, a little HP there too. So that is kind of how I built my Tormund. Um, I am using him in Arena. Um, I like Tormund so far. He's pretty cool, but the problem is he's just all over the place right now once you get to a certain level of Arena. And I don't really use him anywhere else besides this Nightmare campaign and Arena. So he's sort of another one of these one-trick ponies, it feels like to me. But you know, I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna digress into that. Uh, and then Miscreated Monster, who I stacked a little bit with a lot of a lot of HP, decent speed. Um, some decent accuracy as well and a mortal gear two piece of mortal gear two piece speed two piece accuracy i can probably change that up a little bit i may actually if i get some better speeds and accuracy there i'd like to actually put more mortal gear on them but for right now this is what i got um with some decent hp substats on the weapon uh, let me just actually show you his overall so almost eighty nine thousand hp uh, his attack and defense are okay. His speed's okay, 186. Um, his crit rate sucks. His crit damage sucks. I mean, it's meh. And that's probably why he doesn't do as much damage as I like. I may redo him uh, just to put, kind of build more in a crit rate, crit damage type of setup. Uh, but right now, this is how I went with it. And then debuff accuracy at 280. So he's got pretty nice, pretty nice stats. So I, I'm not complaining about his stats. And got some decent secondary HP on the rolls there also on this one too on the helmet I would have liked to get speed on those but HP there as well uh, speed with defense uh, and an HP primary and then HP primary chest with a lot of accuracy which is pretty cool and then of course the speed boots that also roll a little bit of HP so that's kind of what I actually have for them just wanted to show that just show it, these guys doing nightmare campaign because I thought it was kind of fun uh, anyway, thank you very much for checking out the video. I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. I'll be back soon with another video this week. Cheers.